Yeah, I think we'd be looking forward to our next game, no matter where it's at. Um, we just need to get back on it and um, you know get that last game out of our memory. Um, but yeah, I mean being here at, at home, Alexander Field, you know we, we practiced out here in the fall, but it's one of those things that we still don't know probably uh, how to live in this place yet. Yeah. You know, I mean, so we're still trying to figure out that that kind of stuff from equipment to where where we keeping this to where <laughs> where the trash cans go to. To all those little details and so it's not you know you're not totally in a, in a comfort zone yet but um, just be able to be back home and know that we're going to have fans you know our own fans supporting us and and uh, you know get to sleep in our own bed before a game something like that so um, you know it's it's a it's a big day it's another baseball game um, you know it'll be in the 40s and 30s again just like everything else um, but uh, yeah, I think we're, we're, we're definitely excited. I think you're being awfully generous if you think it's going to be in the 40s on Tuesday. Well, I think I saw 40 or, 40 or 41, and that might have just been for a split second. But I think that's going to that's projected to be the high. Um, it's like a doctor. You know, I go, I, I get second and third opinions until I kind of hear what I want to see or, uh, you know, uh, get to hear, you know, what I want to hear. So, um, but, yeah, I mean, it's nothing that we haven't been used to. Though. Right. Does the place feel like home yet, or does it? You have to play here for a while, you know, in real competition against opponents before you sort of figure out its personality. I think so I think so, and I think the fall, you know, uh, we were in here again, but but still, you know, since the fall, we've redone the infield, so that's still going to have a different feel than than what it was in the fall, uh, and then the wind is going to be different in the spring than it was in the fall. So, um, you know, we're still going to have to get acclimated and. and uh, we're really excited, you know, we've had it all fall and, you know, played some scrimmages on it, but actually getting to play a real game on it tomorrow is uh, really exciting for all of us. Especially for you, I guess you're going to get the call, at least in the early innings. You're pretty excited about being the, the guy out there who's going to throw uh, the first pitches. Yeah, that's kind of a full honor, you know. Um, I probably wouldn't have had to be played Sunday, but you know, the way it worked out, it'd be kind of fun to you know, be the first one to go out there and uh, throw the first pitches on Alexander. You guys have... Uh, Sort of seen this project from when it was maybe uh, a little less likely to happen to to it actually being here. What what has sort of the process been like over the years to, to see this day finally come? Um, well, when I got here, you know, five years ago now, uh, they talked about getting the new field. We've kind of we've never gone every year. Oh, we're going to get it. It's going to come this year. We're starting it. And, you know, I think last year when we finally started started seeing it get built. You know, we were like, okay, it's actually going to happen. And then this year when it's finally done, and we actually got to come out here and practice on it and play. It's, it's finally come full circle. It's really exciting. Yeah. Does it uh, start to feel like home yet? I mean, is there already a familiarity to you guys practice here a lot, play here in the fall, all those sorts of things? Uh, definitely. You know, we had all fall out here. You know, just, at first, it was adjustment period with having a locker room right there instead of having to commute from the locker room and everything. But it does feel like home to us. You know, we've, we've got a lot of ground balls and everything and starting to feel those, how the field's going to play for us and everything. So it's starting to really feel like home. You, you weren't used to the old, I guess, so, no, <laughs> so it's really, pretty nice for you, right? I really wasn't even used to like the old one. I mean, I didn't really get a chance to see it that very many times. I saw it one time when yeah. I came down and recruited to visit, but the new place, I mean, I saw it when it was doing construction and all that. <laughs> I mean, it's totally different. When I showed up here, it was totally different than yeah. the first time I saw it. I'm just knowing that Purdue was doing that back when you were being recruited. It was a pretty impressive, you know, um, being able to see the plans and, and know that you were going to play in a new place. Yeah, it was really, I mean, I was excited. I mean, that's one of the biggest reasons why I decided to come here. I mean, from what they did last year, it was, it was pretty awesome to see that. Yeah. And then this new field, I mean, you can't, it's hard to turn that down. <laughs> <laughs> just what are you most looking forward to on Tuesday? Um, I'm most looking forward to actually getting our fans. I mean, yeah. playing away all the time, you get a little, you get pretty hard, like, because so many fans are coming at you all the time. But I mean, it's going to be nice to have some fans cheering actually for you. Yeah. Yeah. How much of a comfort level have you guys been able to get from this new park already? You know, you play here in the fall, you've been, you've been practicing here as much as you can. Um, did it start to feel like home yet? Um, towards the end of the fall, it definitely started to feel like home after we were playing here during Black and Gold Series. Everybody was starting to get to used to it. Starting like it was a, it's a beautiful field, so it's hard not to get used to it. But I mean, everybody's excited about it. You guys used to where the sun is and the wind direction and, and things like that yet, or is it going to take a little bit of you know getting used to once you really start to compile some games? Well, I mean, the spring, I mean, usually I, from what I heard, the wind's usually blowing out to like right center, but I yeah. mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're still going to be playing, so we're just happy to be here. Yeah, you know, just the atmosphere out here when we had the, the 
black and gold dinner um, when we had a little bit of a program out here with uh, 600 you know people sitting in the stands it was loud mm. and I think with the stadium and the cement um, it, it's gonna echo a little bit so um, the fans are all close to the stadium um, so if we can put you know uh, that many and hopefully you know a thousand or, or 1200 1500 people saw the place out um, yeah I think the atmosphere is gonna be great how many season tickets did you end up with for the year? It's over 500, but I don't know that it's much more over 500. Yeah. So, um, but you know, I, I know that uh, you know. I don't even know if people even realize it's baseball season yet. I mean, <laughs> right now, they're they're concentrating on March Madness and filling out the brackets. And we usually don't get that hit until um, you know coming home. Usually is a little bit, but at the same time, I think you know once uh, spring training's over and the major leagues start, people kind of look. Okay, now it's baseball season. My goal was to get in that 800 range, and so I, I still think that we're probably within range of getting some of that. Okay. And we've got, we've got, I think we've got some groups coming out um, as well, so I think that's going to help, you know, for each game having, you know, two or three big groups coming out uh, will help those games. But the question is going to be, you know, students, the student body, are they going to be able to come out and, uh, you know, do, do they want to come out? Will they come out and sit in the cold and, uh, you know, kind of take a little ownership of, you know, having this be their program as well? Mm. You know, um, I know it's the first opener here, so that's a big deal. But just getting home for you guys, getting off the road, how big is that? Maybe just to kind of get in um, some room here. I, will, I think definitely. And, and it's almost like I felt our guys were a little antsy getting home uh, after we played the first game, uh, you know, on Saturday at Evansville. It was almost like they wanted to get home. And it showed on the way that we played. But you guys play? Absolutely. Uh, I know we're close to 500 season tickets sold this year, which is really exciting. And I know a lot of people have talked about how they want to come out to a game and everything this year. So we're looking to have a really fun and exciting atmosphere out here this year. How big is it for you guys, you know, to make a stand and try to get a win here in the first outing? Um, I mean, obviously you always want to open, you, know, you want to win every game that you play, um, but it'll be, it's going to be really nice to be able to hopefully go out there and win the first game on our new field and, you know, not let anyone come in and push us around on our new field and show us like, this is our home, you know, we're going to defend it. So. Playing your first what twenty or so, whatever it's been on the road, has it been sort of been sort of eager to get back home and, and just be able to play not only a home game but but do so here? Yeah, um, it's the first eighteen or so games on the road. You know, you leave campus Thursday, you're not back till late Sunday night, early Monday morning. You know, it's gonna be nice to be back on campus for and I think we're here for about ten days now. So you know, just the familiarity of our own bed and everything, and you know, coming out to our park, and, you know, defending our home field. So. What do you most looking forward to on Tuesday? I'm just looking forward to the atmosphere and coming out and building off of our spring trip. You know, we did a lot of good things on the spring trip. Um, unfortunately, the last game didn't go as well as we wanted it to, but I think we're all excited to get back out here, get back on it, get that one, and then get ready for Big Ten play this weekend. What did those 18 games tell you about this team so far? Um, it tells us we have a lot of good talent. You know, we have had a lot of peaks and valleys this year so far. We need to be a lot more consistent, I think. And, you know, over the spring trip, I showed that it showed that we can become more consistent, and we are. Um, we're continually improving, and we're, we're really looking forward to get out, getting out there and, you know, continuing to improve. Play a little bit better here the last week or so during the spring break trip and, and maybe carry some momentum here into the home schedule? Well, that's what we're looking for. I mean, we won our first series this past week, and that was pretty impressive for us. We were, we were glad we were able to do that. And we started playing well over the spring break because we went through a slump there for a little bit. But we started to see it come around at UIC, and then we played some good ball games at Cincy and at Louisville, and definitely at Evansville, except for the last day. But yeah. we are, we're starting to see things uh, turn around for us right now. You're pretty happy with what you're doing personally? Um, I'm happy with what I'm doing. Um, it's just nice to be out here playing for Purdue. Yeah.